Hey everyone, Dan and Leslie back for another Disney dining review. Today we are headed somewhere that doesn't require a dining reservation, so we're cheating just a little bit, but it is one of our favorites on property. Um, and quite honestly, we're a little exhausted this week and decided that we just wanted to do something fast. <laughs> if you have been following us on our podcast and social media accounts, which are Addicted to the Mouse. Actually, we just added Addicted to the Mouse as a handle for this YouTube channel. Um, so everything is kind of moving that way. Um, you would know that we are um, back just recently from a media event, a podcast, podcaster's press event from Halloween Horror Nights. So we reviewed all of that um, on our podcast and we will actually put our next video out over Halloween Horror Nights, our RIP tour experience, complete with like in-house video, which you don't get to do on a normal basis on Sunday. So yes. check that out. But yeah, uh, we got back and we're like, we're exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do um, one of our favorite quick service uh, restaurants because this is something I've been looking forward to reviewing for a long time, but it just doesn't require an advanced dining reservation. We are headed to Disney Springs to eat at Polite Pig. We love this place. And you know, you still get a little bit of service mm -hmm. where with this quick service restaurant because you do order at the counter, but then they will come around if you want to order another drink or if you want to order any extra food or anything like that. They come around and they will serve you at the table with that. So yeah, and they bring your food and drinks to the table after you order at the counter. Yes. So uh, there are two ways actually to get food at this restaurant. You can order at the counter and then sit at any of the uh, tables or booths inside or outside. They have a reserve sign on them, but it is reserved for guests of the restaurant. Uh, so once you order your food, you're good. Um, and you can also order at the bar. So the mm -hmm. bar does not require a line. You can just walk right up inside or outside. There's an indoor outdoor bar, which is one of the best things about this place, just the cool ambiance. Um, and it is uh, available to anyone that just walks in if there's a seat available and you can order food there from the bartender. Yeah, as long as you're sitting at the bar. As long as you're sitting at the bar. One thing that is crazy today, if you notice- It is so cold. Winter apparently struck Florida. I don't know what happened. It was 82 <laughs> degrees yesterday. We woke up and it was 50. And I know that doesn't sound super cold for many of you that are not um, acclimated to Florida heat. But for us, like it is like we love the heat. That's one of the things that we love about moving to Florida. And we quickly became acclimated to it. So 50 <laughs> degrees this morning when we were out doing our run walk felt frigid to us. My ears froze. Tomorrow I'm going to have to wear a hat. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to Polite Pig, which again is indoor-outdoor. Um, that bar is indoor-outdoor. We may sit outside depending on the crowds and everything. So uh, we are, we're dressed, I'm dressed accordingly. I'm dressed accordingly, but mm -hmm. I'm still trying you to thaw. You might need a little bit. Okay, all to say, um, we have been to Polite Pig many, many, many times. We do know what we like here. So it's cheating a little bit. We're not gonna be asking anybody's opinions, but we are gonna show you some really good food. Yes. Hopefully that quality holds up through our review. Um, but I hope you sit back and you enjoy and you experience Polite Pig with us. It is probably our favorite quick service restaurant on property. Yeah, so let's go, I'm starving. Let's do it. didn't get here. <laughs> the parking garage situation in the Lime Garage was a little frustrating and weird. They had the top two levels closed off, which meant that the bottom three levels were packed solid. So it was like like seven or eight minutes of just constant circul circling before we actually found somebody that pulled out of the space. And there's still people up there circling, I'm sure. Anyway, we each got a beer. So Ravenous Pig, the parent company to Polite Pig, has a brewing company. So they have their own beers here. The Five Points IPA is the one I always get and it's fantastic if you like IPAs. I love this beer here. I got the new seasonal larder melon, which is a blonde ale that was brewed with local watermelon, and it's 
actually surprisingly really tasty. So in the past, I have not been a huge watermelon fan, but it seems like every drink down here that's made with watermelon, it's like real watermelon flavor, not fake watermelon flavor. And so I've been really, really enjoying this. This is super refreshing. Would be even better if it was a hotter day, but, um, but yeah, I like it. We got the butcher board, which um, is meant for two people, and it's got kind of a little bit of everything. So uh, you get to pick two sides that it comes with, and we chose this time we got the mac and cheese and the Brussels sprouts, because the Brussels sprouts are always a fave, but it's got pizza, pickles, we got some pulled pork, we got chicken, we add ribs, which is an extra $7, and then you're, there's brisket on here as well, and then also the um, jalapeno pork bread. So um, Dan went in to get us barbecue sauce, and um, I love this. Another thing I love about this place is they have their own signature sauces. So there is a porter sauce, a sweet sauce, a mustardy vinegary sauce that's yellow, and then a barbecue ranch. Um, our waiter, which whenever you order, you get assigned a waiter, and if you want another beer, or anything else, dessert, or whatever, you can order it from him or her, and they will bring it to you at the table and you just pay here at the table. So this is like a combination table service, quick service restaurant that you don't need a dining reservation for, which is fantastic. There was actually a pretty long line outside when we showed up and it went super fast. I think we were, uh, we went from standing outside in the line to ordering within five minutes. Our waiter just stopped by and said, try the Brussels sprouts, which we have tried many times, with the barbecue ranch, which we have not done before. New game changer. Brussels sprouts with barbecue ranch. I'm gonna start with the brisket today because this looks amazing. Sometimes the brisket can be a little on the fatty side for me, but um, today it looks really incredible. Love the brisket here. Like I said, sometimes it can vary a little bit, but today it's really good. I am going to try the sausage, which is um, has like cheddar in it, and it, this is always fantastic, but I'm gonna try it uh, with the sweet sauce here first. Still fantastic. I was a little concerned, as I usually am with dining reviews, that it won't live up to what we remember it being in the past, but today is fantastic. The chicken is like really moist, uh, so it's not dry. It is delicious. The skin on there is just cooked to perfection. It also comes with these little jalapeno cornbreads, which I kind of love. Mm. $7 to add the ribs on. They look fantastic. I don't know how this is gonna go with my um, Invisalign attachment things. Minus the Invisalign attachments, fantastic. They're covered in like a very sweet uh, barbecue sauce. You don't need to add any sauce to it. Really well done, very well cooked. Okay, I just want you to see the size of the rib that Leslie is trying to eat right now. It's quite large. Really good. We are going to finish uh, what little bit we can because we're getting very full and drink our beers and then we'll finish this off at home. I get it. This place is quick service. It is not touted as one of the best must-do dining reservations to get. It is touted as one of the best must-do dining quick service places to get. <laughs> by us. <laughs> they have their own beer line. They have their own sauce line. The food is really, really good, and it is in a great location. Uh, I just, let's dive in. If you are looking to plan your next magical vacation, please reach out to us over at fantasticalvacations.com. We can help you with any Disney destination, Universal, cruise lines, and most all-inclusive resorts. We would love to help. And it does not cost anything additional to you. Um, so yeah, we would love to help. Thanks so much. Ambiance and theming. Um, I, you know, I love how it's got that big brick wall that's got, I can't remember, it says something market, um, but it's, I don't, even the inside vibe is cool, but what really gets me here with the ambiance and theming is the indoor outdoor bar. Mm -hmm. And then you have outdoor seating. And even today it was a little chilly. I was a little nervous about sitting outside, but they had the heaters on. So like even whenever it's cold, you can sit outside and enjoy it. Yeah, so there's several different places to sit outside. Um, there is an awning cover, there is the outdoor bar and there and there are high tops kind of beyond that. And so there are permanent heaters under the cover that they had on today. Um, then they roll in um, freestanding heaters for those outdoor high tops whenever it gets like cold, really cold. for a long, cause it's only cold <laughs> for a couple of days and then it's back up in the eighties. Um, 
So that's great. I, I agree. I love the indoor outdoor bar. I love the setup. Honestly, I love that you can get in line and then get through the line to quick service and then sit in the restaurant or outdoor in the tables. But I also love that you can just walk up to the bar, sit down if there's a seat available, mm-hmm. order a drink, order a meal, whatever you want. Um, and I love the fact that um, it's you know you're, you're walking in. It's got like the expo uh, little area behind the glass where they are prepping oh, the barbecue. That was cool to watch them do that. Yeah, it's just a it's really really well done. Um, so we gave it a four. Right, so service. Service, service yeah. is really, actually, it was good today. So it can be hit and miss here, honestly. The last okay. few times we've been here, um, sometimes you get a great waiter or waitress that checks on you frequently. Sometimes they don't even come by. Like they bring you your food and your and your drink and then no one ever comes by. Props to Carlos, you did a fantastic yes. job. We absolutely loved you. You were wonderful. So, um, so you, often will um like you'll you have the opportunity to tip ahead of time and then you can purchase something else at the table if you want we did not today and so you can leave them just cash on the table as well so we gave him a four as well um because definitely above average um you know so that was fantastic so drinks as Dan mentioned, they do have their own brewery. So there is a like a another restaurant in town called the Ravenous Pig. It has a, a brewery attached to it. Um, so it's the is Ravenous. It, is it attached to the brewery? Oh, I don't know. I just assume so. But it's called the Ravenous Pig Brewing Company. Um, yeah, so they I don't know if it's attached it. to the Ravenous Pig. We gotta go check that out. If it is, I would yeah, love to go there. Right? Um, anyway, so I usually get the Lone Palm Golden Ale, but today I got the seasonal larder melon, which uh, was like a blonde ale brewed with uh, local watermelon. It's fantastic. I always get the five points IPA. I love that IPA. It's fantastic. Um, they also, so if uh, if you saw my shot where there were all those taps on the wall behind the registers, um, like most of those are the uh, the brewer, the uh, Ravenous Pig brews, um, but there's also mixed drinks on tap. Yeah. So like they have a grapefruit margarita, which is good. They've just got, um, and that indoor outdoor bar has got a ton of bourbon. Like it is a bourbon bar. So if yeah. you want a good bourbon, uh, you can get that there as well. So drinks, I mean, it's a step above. It really is. We gave it a four and a half. Yep. All right, food. <laughs> I have yet to have something here that I didn't like. Uh, sometimes the brisket, they don't trim all the fat off. That's true. Well, they don't trim enough fat off. Yeah. And it's like really like it's got like a, a thick layer of fat on there. And that was not the case today. No. It was great. Yeah. But I mean, for the most part, overall, like most everything I've ever gotten here, I've really enjoyed. Um, now I don't eat beets. That's the one thing that I have not tried because I just, I just don't like them. But, um, but everything else here, all the sides that we've tried, all the entrees we've gotten desserts. Yeah. We've gotten the key lime um, pie is great. The wrap before we've gotten sandwiches. We've, you've gotten the Cobb salad. I really like that Cobb salad. If you want something that's a little, um, lighter. Yeah. But it also, like it comes with pork belly, like chunks in there, and you can also add fried chicken. So if you want something a little more uh, filling on top of the salad, and the salad, like the dressing, it's all chopped up and mixed in together, and it comes in like the stainless steel bowl, and there's like a like a swipe of guacamole on the side. It's fantastic, I really like that salad. Yeah. And then the hop salt pretzel, I mean like we, I, you just can't go wrong. It's so, so good. So once again, today's food was phenomenal, and so we gave it a four and a half. All of that added together, this is a quick service restaurant that gets a 4.25 out of five, which beats out a ton of other (laughs) sit down at table service restaurants that people are like climbing all over themselves to get reservations for. I am telling you, if you want a great meal, a great experience that is easy to get get into, quick and relatively inexpensive, our meal with two large 22 ounce brews that were specially made for that restaurant, plus the full on platter that says it serves two, but we couldn't come close to finishing all of it. Mm -hmm. We actually get that platter plus like an appetizer and that feeds four of us. Um, So that, and we added the ribs, all of that together was 70 something dollars plus tip. And so it's less than a hundred bucks. And you have, and, and yeah, it was fantastic. I don't know, I think the value is great. 
Yeah, it really is. So definitely go check out Polite Pig next time you are at Disney Springs. You do not need a reservation, but it's definitely reservation worthy. If you like our videos, you might love the podcast. Please check us out. It's called Addicted to the Mouse. We publish every Sunday and Wednesday night. We would love to see you there. We recently just started a Patreon channel where we publish on the go, behind the scenes style episodes, and we do live streams of our podcast there. So uh, we would love to see you there as well. Yep. And if you are liking what you see, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss our next dining review. And we will see you on the next video.